throat, body aches and chills, loss of taste or smell. Okay, come on up for me. Grab a temperature. How to pass 14 days. Then it costs. Nice to be here. Wish I could shake your head. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you step right here? You're all right. Here? Yes, ma'am. So, ma'am, you're good. Nice to you're good to go, ma'am. I'm good? Yes. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Good. How about yourself? Good. Good morning, ma'am. Major Adam Cooper. I'm the Chief of Pharmacy Operations at the Satellite Pharmacy and I'm from Rosamond, California, which is right next to Edwards Air Force Base. So the preventative measures that we're taking is we want to make sure that our patients are engaging in good social distancing. Uh, so we moved all of our operations from the windows to curbside pharmacy. So we shut down our windows and started a curbside pharmacy from scratch, uh, which definitely uh, had some some obstacles that we had to overcome. We had to get with CE, we had to get with security forces, uh, and we set up everything and trained our folks up. And now things are running pretty smooth after about four weeks. And so you would say that it's good work? I think anytime there's change, it can be challenged. There can be challenges, especially when you're dealing with 75,000 beneficiaries and you know quite a few staff members as well. Um, so training the staff and then also training the patients also to, 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 so that they can learn the process has been a challenge. But again, after about a month, I think the staff and the patients kind of understand the routine. And, uh, and it, I also think it's kind of important to mention the fact that our, a lot of our patients, um, they're really stoked about the curbside services to the point where some of them are a little bit sad to hear that it's probably going away once COVID-19 stops becoming the threat that it currently is. So prioritizing safety, so, um, so we are using um, protective, uh, protective measures or PPE. Um, so we, are, we do have face masks, uh, we do wear goggles, uh, we do have gloves, so the, in, the, the staff that is specifically interacting with the patients have all that, all that on them. And then in the pharmacy themsel it, itself, uh, we're just we're, we're wearing the face masks. Um, so we're doing that, we're social distancing, distancing wherever possible. The mission is essentially the same. Uh, really the only thing that's really changed significantly is the fact that the distance between the patients and where we store medications is a little bit further. Um, so it does require some, some extra manpower to run between point A to, and point B. Um, but our operations have essentially stayed the same um, up to this point. Uh, the only thing that has changed, which we've kind of uh, reverted back to, is we are doing um, 24 hour turnaround for most prescriptions. Uh, if it is an immediate needed medication, so like an anti-seizure medication or antibiotic, um, we'll do about an hour or two hour turnaround on those. Um, but uh, other than that, everything has essentially stayed the same for us. Turnaround times are different? The, the, the mission is the same on the other side of the pharmacy. On the patient side of the pharmacy, it looks significantly different just because the way we are delivering prescriptions is different. Right. Um, but what we do behind the closed doors of the pharmacy is pretty much the exact same. It has not degraded our, our ability to send our warfighters downrange at all. Uh, that's, that continues to be our number one priority is ma making sure that we get our warfighters downrange when needed. Um, and to that end, uh, we have essentially created a brand new shift um, so, so that in the unlikely event that one of our pharmacy staff members goes down with COVID-19, that could, that could potentially degrade all of our mission capabilities. Um, so we have a satellite pharmacy and we have a main pharmacy as well and we keep the staff from one of the pharmacies. Uh, we prevent um, intermingling between the two pharmacies. And on, in addition to that, we've created a night shift, um, which even further, um, further allows us to, um, to uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, to uh, compartmentalize the staff uh, in the event that someone um, goes down with COVID-19 to prevent further spread of the disease. No, not at all. Um, so again, our number one priority is getting the warfighters um, uh, in a position to be able to help those jets get up and down range and, uh, and be able to serve our country. Um, so, uh, in a, so with the training and with the, the, the relatively frequent tw uh, uh, tweaks here and there of our process, um, our staff has been extremely resilient. Um, Especially when we first started, we essentially learned that we were going to be doing curbside ops on a, fr on a Friday afternoon. And come Monday morning, uh, we, were, we were going through everything and it was, it was great. There was very little lag time 
in, in ha and our staff learning the entire process to the point where they could execute the mission uh, appropriately, effectively, and efficiently.